Now we're going to search this mansion for the murder. Could be Ada. We will find out soon enough. The first time I played this game, I did it at a local store and they had it as a demo. So I was running around this mansion, didn't know shit what to do, and I was pretty young. It was when the game came out. So I wasn't very impressed by it, since I was more into the action games like Metro Prime and stuff. But then I tried it for real some years later, and I love it. One of my favorite games of all time. And I uh, think it's my favorite game on the GameCube. Though I have to think about that before I actually say it. A grand piano stands there waiting the hands of a decent musician. Mando Pony, get over here! No, unfortunately Edward never really lived up to that description. And as such, the piano fell into disuse. Well that sucks. Even Alex can't play the piano. Why would you... Okay, never mind. Oof. Some creepy background music. Exactly what I like when I'm going around in a mansion. We're going to hug the left wall. No, I'm not. I'm going to explore at my own leisure. Ooh, in my times, we didn't have uh, those pony shows. Okay. Portraits of the ancestral Roivas line the foyer walls. What? Lie the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark... Faces? Oh, it's all of the paintings in this row. Okay. Reveal a dark, brooding edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. You can already tell that the writing is uh, awesome, great, and quite complex sometimes. There's a lot of advanced words, which I will have problems to pronounce. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. Oh, Alex, you need to talk with Jill, because she's the master of unlocking. She will teach you everything you need to know, and even more than that. So my prob my biggest problem back in 2011 when I did the Let's Play the first time uh, was that I couldn't pronounce like half of the words, <laughs> but it was very hard. That was the same description. And I still suck, but hopefully it will be better. And I won't uh, like stumble too much on all the words. And there's so much to read, you can read about so much stuff. And I love that, but maybe it will be boring. If it is, then fuck you. In the warm glow of, can of candlelight. The Roivas family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows filter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family secrets are revealed. I see one being hanged! So Edward killed himself. What a hook. Or crook. Very nice, yes. Now it's gonna deal with this room right now. But uh, one thing I do like about all these texts and uh, reading all that is, I, is that I can practice on my English. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this in the first place. All those words and reading and I think it's highly enjoyable. Because when I play it myself, I usually just, you know, kind of rush through it. I'm sorry, but I do. Sometimes. The books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. The writings of Poe. Oh! Edgar Allan Poe, as we saw in the be beginning of this game. That was recited from The Raven, so that's cool. Lovecraft, um, the poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch, Bosch, no, Bosch. Everything with a tie to ethereal, ethereal, I don't know, horror or fantasy. It is all here, a reference library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? What? What's so secret about that? Some people do like horror and fantasy. I do. Nothing there. Uh, make... Fuck, can't read about it. Okay, uh, as you saw in the very first clock we saw, it was set on 333. So we're going to set that as well. This looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost parathical... Parathical air. Use the control stick to adjust the clock hands. Yes, we should. And just roll it over to 333. Right there. Oh shit, I'm so stupid! There. A secret passage! Oh my god! Let's go in. It's over, Edward. I know where your porn magazines are. Holy shit, there is a lot of them. No? There's a big shiny book and a sword. We'll have to explain that, Edward. But I'm going to the sword first. The sword? Uh, no, not yet. Later. Mm-mm. 
Okay, an ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantle. Another token of electric junk. It's not junk, it's a real sword! You see this shit? Mm -mm -mm. It's not junk at all. Huh. This looks like some kind of mask. The face is severe in composure, with a faint hint of a smile, tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes, closed in deep meditation. You're such a sick bastard, Edward! Oh, that reminds me of Devil May Cry 1. This gothic cathedral is sil silhouetted, silhouetted against a stark light. <laughs> stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of sub... Subtly, subtly, subt Fuck, you see, this is the problem. Every brush stroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing, imbuing a violent feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh, harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Oh, you better work on all those English sentences, Alex, or Crimson. A large leather-bound book? Yes, take it, or read it. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Ancient Persia, Persia, 26 BC. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandine? Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum conferma. Pugna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Volo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. Ended up in a big temple. Oh, not again, Pius. This is the third time this week. What the hell is this? The dace on the floor is finely crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle, and it's and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Maybe you should go to the library once in a while and study. Maybe you will learn something. Once again, I will save. Because that's how I roll. So yeah, 26 BC, quite some time ago. The decoration on the wall are a mixture, mix, mixture, mixture of ancient cultures, civilizations that have long since turned to dust. Perhaps this dungeon is all that remains of them. It looks pretty damn clean if it was so late or so long ago. But okay, 
I get. A shaft descends towards the next lower level. A ladder is situated on the side of the shaft. You see, this is what I mean. Those small details, you can be on this side, read about it, and then go over to this side and actually climb down and get a different text. There is so much... Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat myself too much here. A ladder leads down into the dank heart of the labyrinth. A danger lurks beneath, yet pious courage, courageous resolve does not buckle. Should we climb down? Yeah. 